delta h naught f c two h two, right? So <coughs> we have to make we have to make the we have to make uh, delta h naught f c two h two the subject. So we can say that delta h naught f c two h two is equal to. Now let's start putting in the values. Two times delta h h naught f of CO two, which is two into minus three ninety four, plus delta h naught f of H two O, which is minus two eighty six, minus delta h naught C of C two H two, which is minus thirteen hundred. So minus minus will become plus, therefore plus thirteen hundred. So this is equal to let's let's see. Uh, let me do it on my calculator. This is equal to two into minus three ninety four. Minus two eighty six plus thirteen hundred. So this is equal to plus two hundred and twenty six kilojoules per mole. Yeah. Now we are done with this as well. So let's move forward. Okay. So next question is. Relevant delta H naught F values for the reaction that synthesizes methanol are given in the table. Okay, use these values to calculate delta H naught reaction for the synthesis of methanol. Include include a sign in your answer. So always remember to include a sign, positive or negative, because that shows endothermic or exothermic. So even if it's not mentioned, do include a sign. So we are given the enthalpies of formation of all these. So we'll, this is very simple. We will make the elements. I'm sorry about that. We'll make the elements like this. Now we have made the elements. So this is delta H naught reaction, delta H naught R, and this. So this, if you see this, this is basically the enthalpy change of formation of CO two, which is minus three ninety four kilojoule per mole. And if you see the right side, it is the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation of this and this, which will be minus two zero one plus minus two forty two, which is simply minus two forty two, right? And since H two is an element, it does not have an enthalpy change of formation. Now let's make a vector triangle. So this is a reversible reaction. So you can calculate. You you can this arrow can be towards the left or the right. But they have said calculate delta H naught reaction for this synthesis of methanol. So they want us to calculate it for the forward reaction. Not the back reaction, and therefore we will take the right direction, not the left direction. Okay. So this will become uh, A. Let's say, let's take this as A. This let's take this as B. Let's take this as C. So we derive a relationship which is C is equal to B plus A, right? Now, if we incorporate this relationship into our into our into our triangle Hess cycle over here, then we get minus two zero one minus two four two is equal to minus three ninety four plus delta H naught R, which is the reaction the enthalpy change of reaction. So we what we have to calculate is delta H naught R. So delta H naught R. Is equal to minus two zero one minus two forty two plus three ninety four, which is equal to. If I do this on my calculator, this is equal to minus two zero one minus two forty two plus three ninety four. So this is equal to minus forty nine kilojoule per mole. This is an exothermic reaction. The the forward reaction is an exothermic reaction. <coughs> Sorry, so this is minus forty nine kilojoule per mole. Now the next reaction is use these. Uh, okay, okay. So the next reaction is different actually. 
मेथनॉल मे बी सिंथेसाइज फ्रॉम कार्बन मोनोक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन रेलिवेंट डेल्टा